The Dirt Show. Just before Biden made his ridiculous, uh, dangerous, and I think bigoted statement, focusing only on only on not to know, just before that, the deputy head of the CIA, David Cohen, said it was Hamas. Hamas is the only thing that stands between uh, us and a ceasefire. Uh, Secretary of State Blinken said the same thing. He said the ball is now in Hamas's court. It's up to Hamas. Now, is Biden not talking to these guys? Are these guys talking to him, but he's not listening? Is he forgetting he was on the beach for 10 days, baking in the sun while these hostages were being killed and while others were being killed on the West Bank and Israel and the north of Israel, in Lebanon, in Gaza? He's on the beach. He deserves a vacation. But wasn't he up to date that his own people have said that it wasn't Netanyahu's fault? It certainly wasn't his fault alone. My God. And that's what Biden said. It was his fault alone. He didn't say it was the combined fault of other people. He said, no, no, uh, he's not doing You know, Biden sometimes forgets he's the president of the United States. A lot of people forget that. But if you're the president of the United States, you don't give a dumb, dangerous, one syllable, two letter answer to a question that will cost lives of innocent people. And that's what Biden has done. Look, I was friendly with Biden. When I retired from Harvard, Biden had a wonderful talk in, 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 in my honor. Um, he has met with uh, my children, both of my sons. Um, I've been to his home. Um, I, I delivered a benediction on the Jewish holiday of Sukkot uh, in a sukkah that was built in his home. I like Joe Biden, but he's making a fool of himself and of the United States government and of peace when he blames the failure to get a ceasefire and the failure to get the hostages back on Netanyahu. Look, let's just begin. There wouldn't be hostages if Hamas hadn't broken a ceasefire, killed 1,200 people and kidnapped 250. There wouldn't be dead Gazans if Hamas didn't use uh, human uh, shields. Um, and of course, Biden did say that the people who killed these six hostages, and it's very interesting, the people who killed these six hostages will never find out who they are. They were wearing masks. They walked up to these people and they shot them in the back of the head. We'll never find out who they are exactly, but they will pay a price. You know what he didn't say? What he didn't say is that the people who had them do it will pay a price. And who are they? They're sitting and laughing in Tehran. They're the mullahs. They're the most dangerous people on the face of the earth today. They are the modern day Stalin, Mussolini, Hitler, uh, Pol Pot, um, uh, Fidel Castro. They are the villains of the world, the mullahs. They're the ones who are pulling the strings. They're the puppeteers. Hamas is the puppet. Hezbollah is the puppet. The Houthis are the puppet. Islamic Jihad is the puppet. All Iran has to do is say, no. All he has to do is use Biden's word, no, no, no. And they stop. These surrogate organizations can't continue to operate without the military and financial support of Iran. We know that. And yet the United States is putting no pressure on Iran. You'll notice that when they indict Hezbollah and Hamas, they don't indict Iran. Why don't they indict Iran? It says in the indictment, essentially, that they are operating under the direction of Iran. But Iran and the mullahs of Iran ought to be indicted as well. And um, it's not happening. Indeed, the United States is still in indirect ways supporting financially the Iranian regime. Uh, and they're selling oil by the barrels and making money. And where is their money going to? Certainly not feeding the Iranian people. It's going to terrorism. 